All right, Kev, here we go. Video for 29487 Ballard Industrial Park uh, in Seattle. So we are absolutely right on the water. Um, I'm starting on the far right of the aerial. You can kind of see that tan thing out on the water and then the building and this is kind of behind that so got this patch here that's definitely got some sinking and some subgrade issues uh, which kind of worries me you can see the cracking around the base and footing of that building there where it's got some sinkage out on this dock edge um, this does have like really properly shored up steel concrete filled beams but on this next small patch where it says be careful cutting, um, there's a giant piece of rebar sticking out here. And we got a hole going through to I don't know where. So this might be another um, just like Seattle boat type situation. So, yeah. I guess we do what we can, exploratory dig as we go with this but I'd suggest we work from here this way just to see what we get ourselves into I have a feeling when we get to this point here this line that we're on some sort of backfilled up against dock if not on dock area so that worries me um, and then obviously here like I don't know what we get paid to do a two by three but the risk seems scary on this one with the rebar shooting up out of the concrete and not knowing if we're gonna poke through to under. So I'll walk around the building here. As I'm walking around the building, you can see where there's just some serious sinkage and sluffage going on here. The edge of the building, these big stress cracks, like that's the edge of this, you know, something's going on here for sure concrete void in between can't see any water or anything down there but this definitely isn't solid base that we're working with and so we're supposed to cut here again this is outside of this shelf that I can tell is much more solid and much less so in between the concrete dock and here is this next patch And then there's this one, which again, sinking with some sort of structures in there, you know, like you can tell these are pumps for some reason. There's going to be something in there, whether they're giant wooden poles or I'm not sure. So keeping going my way out towards this yard that has a bunch of patches in it. So here, we have a small asphalt patch to do because of these. Well, what are these? <laughs> what are we going to run into here? It's a little worrisome, maybe hard to tell in the video. They're giant mounds poking up from something. Whether it's an old existing dock post, I'm not sure. And we come over here, we got this patch here, which we put the border over here. This is obviously concrete for this. This has an asphalt overlay on it. Um, I would suggest we reduce that down to the edge of the concrete, take the overlay off and we pave flush uh, try and tie in, maybe, and then just we could put the overlay back on, I guess. Uh, I don't know what I would do with this, but I get the thought there's damage and a not smooth ride through here, but what we're getting ourselves into, if we start breaking through that concrete, I don't know how we're going to transition because they've overlaid this thing all the hell so many times. Also, I don't know. That one's pretty straightforward. Just the end of the concrete pad. Just driving on it. That difference in base falling apart here. This one should be pretty straightforward. 
And one note, one thing I want to note as well is the main road. So there's two ways to get in. There's in between that building and there's out here, which is a much larger area. But we have like a one-way traffic uh, road out here. So I'm thinking down here is our best area for staging. But big trucks aren't getting in here. They're offloading out on the road and they got this road all shut down and detoured to allow pedestrians through. And you, it's a one way. You can't get over there. And this just goes one way. See, I was over there. I had to go out around and in. You come in down by that stop sign. So that's it.